Hey everybody, David Wilkes here again, and we are on day three. The trailer is now back on its wheels, and we've got the new axles installed. Everything's all nicely lined up. All the brakes are all tucked in. All stainless steel brake lines, new hoses. As you can see, we have stainless steel line is not zip tied like so many manufacturers do but we have it riveted with hold downs distribution valve there did a braided line cross over here because again the kit did not come with any brake hoses at all and now today we'll be installing the new trailer coupler because we got rid of the surge brake bang and go and we're installing the hydrostar electric over hydraulic actuator the emergency lanyard and the emergency battery box and right now I'm picking out my drill bit because I'm gonna drill and tap these holes and mount this directly to the trailer frame itself and then We'll get the boat loaded up on here, clean up some of this rusted junk. And uh, I don't know what we're gonna do about this wheel so far. I don't like this jack um, because it's in such close proximity to the hitch. Um, any tight turn and this handle's gonna go right into the bumper of the truck. So that's a really poor design. And having such a short tongue on this trailer is definitely gonna affect it. So we may end up having to make a mount and moving this further back or uh, getting rid of this type of jack altogether. But we'll look at what we can deal with pretty soon. And I'll get back to work and we'll share it on a time lapse. And there goes the never ending ding on my phone. Meanwhile, Carson's on the trail. What you got? Where's it at? Beagle on the hunt. I heard him crying from inside the shop. Get it, boy. Get it. That's my boy. Get that trail. Where's he got? You find a bunny? <laughs> My boy's hunting. <laughs> All right, he's going in the woods. I'm not. I'm going back to work. Carson, come here. He <laughs> said, I'm on a trail. Here we Good boy. Good boy. What do you see? Where is it? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> beagles doing beagle stuff. That's awesome.
good morning. It's delivery day and the baby shop trailer has been completed and it tows amazingly well. I uh, wanted to put a couple hundred miles on it this morning before wrapping this video up. Probably going to be a video series because um, there's so much footage about what I did in building this and yes I have lots of traffic in the background so I'll try and over talk that. Um, so we got the trailer, it was a spring axle trailer, um, really just a poor design as I said before. Um, I'm not a fan of Magic Tilt. I haven't seen any trailers that they built that I have been a fan of. So let me go over the components and what I added to it. Um, we took the surge brake coupler off of it and I put uh, a brand new coupler on it. Not only is it bolted, but it's welded and I reinforced it inside of the tongue. Um, so that that won't have any issues. It's got a, a positive catch latch. Um, you got the safety lanyard and a brand new cable that goes all the way back into the box. Um, the gem of this is the Hydrostar. This is the best unit that money can buy for uh, trailering. It's just outstanding. Because this is a four brake system, I went with the 1200 PSI instead of the 1600 PSI. 1600 PSI is great for big heavy duty brakes like on my large trailer. Um, but for, you know, four smaller brakes, these are 10 inch brakes. Um, it's perfect. We got our safety lantern right here, all stainless, uh, tubing. Um, I always put my grounds on the outside because typically when trailer lighting or trailer systems fail, um, it's because of a ground getting contact or not. This way you can see if you have any corrosion and it's not hidden in a box that can get moisture or something like that built up in it. Um, I got a lithium battery right here, uh, so it can be mounted in any position. It also has a built-in charger, so as the tr it took it up to the truck, this system's always charging, and that way you don't have to worry about your brake system not, not working. Um, in here, this is an old battery box that I've now converted to my junction. All of my wires, as you saw in the video, are inside this box right here. Every single connection is crimped and then the, this has a fine epoxy you can see the epoxy inside of it and it seals this connector perfectly so no intrusion to your connection where the wire is crimped as you see i'm using my max tie downs there is absolutely no excuse for not having quality tie downs and these tie downs are the best that money can buy made in the usa They've got a spring catch to make sure that it can't come off if it does loosen up or the boat does shift, and that happens all the time. Um, getting back here, the LEDs are replaced. The LEDs are replaced the original lighting with LEDs. This actually puts a glow on the ground due to the angle here, but it can be seen very well. Um, we went with a, a really nice wheel it's lightweight gives a lot of area for the brakes to cool um, also allows you to see their brakes and that's why I like this design of wheel um, these wheels also balance out very well um, we went with the UFP stainless axles uh, that was another upgrade that I ended up having to take care of um, and these things are absolutely in perfect alignment I'm getting a lot better fuel mileage than I expected um, simply because these things can ride nice and smooth. The trailer originally had a 14 inch wheel and we upgraded to a 15 inch wheel. And as you see, I spread out the axles a little bit and that makes it track better on a freeway. Again, one of the big complaints that I have <clears throat> about this trailer is that they cut the frame right behind the rear axle and yet extend this beam completely unsupported at the strongest and heaviest point of the boat. That makes absolutely zero sense to me other than just the company trying to save a buck. I mean, that much of a beam is what? Another 20 bucks? So for 40 bucks, you could have a beam that goes all the way back. <clears throat> just doesn't make sense. I added this these uh, Grand General lights and they are absolutely stupid bright. Um, in fact, yesterday when James was working on the trailer, he told me to turn the lights off because they, are, they were so bright he was blinding and he couldn't work on the area he was working on. Um, so what that does is it lights up the ground, lights up everything behind the boat and gives you a lot more visibility. So when you need to have 
uh, lighting visibility when someone comes up behind you. As Remember, when you saw this in the shop, you couldn't really see how far back it was, but look at this distance. You're talking, that's six to eight feet away. That's a long way to go for someone to see your brake lights. And if they're above you at a higher altitude, I mean a higher elevation, without having lighting that's really, really bright, and I take them all the way to the edge, I went all the way to the full width, so you can see that very well. All the way around, I think the build came out very nice. Again, everything is tied down, covered up, ready to go. We changed the jack, it had one of those swivel tire jacks on it. Um, that's just a piece of junk and it was ready to fail. So I put this really nice 2,500 pound jack on it. This is a, a gear reduction in it. It absolutely works beautiful. Drop the leg, no problems at all. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing. Thank you for joining my channel. And I appreciate everybody who's been watching our videos. Um, we've got a lot more coming up in the near future. If you got any questions, leave them in, in the comment section below. Uh, but I want everybody to have an absolute blessed day. God bless America and God bless you all.